Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Training camp is open, guys. We are back. It is football, and everybody is 0-0. Everybody has hope that this year is the year that their team will do great things. And I'm like nobody else. I hope that my team is ready to rock and roll. I tell you what I'm excited about is that the Cowboys have now realize the importance of the big guy the big guy don't get love okay and let's be clear here the dallas cowboys have not believed in big guys in a long long time they've tried everything the linebackers the outside edge rushers the cornerbacks and stuff they hadn't tried really saying let's take care of the interior defensive line i remember having conversations with you know um my boy Vosh and stuff and saying, man, I want a trash can full of dirt. I mean, excuse me, a roll off dumpster full of dirt. OK, and he's like, man, the Cowboys don't believe in one technique, guys. And I'm like, you know, like my man DMV says, because I, I quote him quite a bit. When you control the middle of the field, you control the field. And I will say the problem for the Dallas Cowboys when we get to the playoffs and we don't show up are two things. Two freaking things. We're unable to run the football and we are unable to stop the run. And if you can do that or can't do that, chances are you're not going to win in the playoffs. And the Cowboys have addressed that. Last year, they realized with Hankins being in the middle, we ended up bringing him in, of course, you know, trading with the Raiders, that he ended up being good. I'm still mad that we let John Ridgeway go to the commanders because I think he's going to do great things. When you get a guy who talks about busting skulls, you want that guy. You want that guy on your defensive line because you have to be crazy to be that one technique guy. You have to love contact. Well, the Cowboys, I literally fell out at the draft. I'm telling you, I literally fell out at the draft when they ended up drafting Mozzie Smith. Mozzie Smith, you know, a, a big guy. But not just a big guy, not the trash can full of dirt. This guy is like a roll-off dumpster going downhill. He's just, okay, he's big, he's a run stopper, he's a beast, and he loves the heat. Loving the heat and being a Dallas Cowboy go hand in hand. So shout out to G-Bag Nation. Today had him actually on the show. And I heard some things from him that I absolutely positively love. Because see, here's what you have to understand. Playing in the middle of the field is not like anything else that you've ever done. It is the worst position to be in. You get hit by everybody. See, if you're a defensive tackle, generally everything's coming from the inside. If you're a defensive end, again, everything's coming from the, the inside. If you're a linebacker, you're standing upright. You're seeing everything that's coming through there, and hopefully you've got great defensive linemen in front of you that are keeping those guys off. If you're a cornerback, you're going against wide receivers, you know, from time to time you might have to tackle unless you're Deion Sanders, and you're like, I, I ain't putting my, my body in that. I ain't, no, I'm not doing that. But as a nose guard, you line up closer to the next man, closer than anybody else in the field. You are literally a football width away from the center. And your head is going to hit every single time. And it's not just the center. You can get hit by either of the guards. Sometimes the guard and the center. Sometimes this guard and the center. If the team has a fullback, you can get double teamed there. You can get hit by him. And worse yet, the worst one that I hated was the wham block. That's when the tight end is in motion and the quarterback snaps the ball and this guy poof, head hunts you right there. You get hit in the hips, the, lie, the, the knees, because, of course, there's the cut zone where it's legal to cut your ass right there. Outside the tackle box, oh, you can't do that. But there, you get cut. You get battered, you get bruised, you get beat to hell. And you have to love it. Listen to Ma Mozzie Smith, a.k.a. Pop-Tart. I heard that about a week or so ago that his nickname was Pop-Tart. And I'm thinking it's because his mom, because he mentions in this interview about mom bringing Pop-Tarts. 
He loves some Pop Tarts. Uh, Kellogg's, you might want to go ahead and get yourself, uh, you know, get my man, sponsor him. Shout out to G-Bag Nation. Michigan here, first team all Big Ten before being the Cowboys' first round pick. Mozzie Smith here in the G-Bag Nation. And a good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? We're doing great. Uh, how's everything coming? It's it's nice to get out of the heat, isn't it? Touchdown in California. Do this, what do you I, think I, of the I, digs? I like the heat, man. I like, Whoa. I, I like the heat. I, I think I it's going to be really? well. Man, to be honest, I went to Miami to train okay. for the heat. Okay. Loves the heat. I need it for my lungs. So, so <laughs> what, what, what's your key to enjoying the heat? Because we all could use some advice here in North Texas. We're all battling it on a daily basis, Mozzie. What's the secret? I, I like the heat because um, it's easy to warm your body up. Uh, easier to get moving faster, quicker, smoother. You know what I'm saying? Don't got to deal with, you know, some of the. You don't, you don't got to do some of the things you got to do in the cold to warm your body up and get a sweat. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's easy to get a sweat going, easy to get into the workout, easy to get it over with. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I tell you what, a, a lot of Cowboys fans were very excited when the Cowboys took you because for the longest time, they weren't taking the big defensive tackle that could shut down the run. And now it seems like last mm -hmm. year, beginning with Hankins and now with you, they're taking that more seriously. Yes. And after so many years, we're just stoked to have guys as specifically like you. What I want to know is, can you tell, are you still way stronger than the guys on the other side of the line of scrimmage <laughs> yeah. if you're in the NFL? I ain't here to, you know, talk nothing crazy about no nobody. You know, we respect the vets. You okay. know, I just got to put my work in and uh, just show everybody. You know, uh, today was first practice, first few reps, but we ain't even put on pads. You know, until we do that, until I get about five, six days of full pads under my belt, then I'll start being able to talk to y'all how I want to. What vet were you most excited to maybe go up against and, and test uh, just where, where you are right now as a rookie? Uh, every vet. Just a vet. It's a grown man. You know, when I came to college, I came to college at 17. So I was excited to go against everybody, 20-year-old, uh, 21-year-old, 24-year-old, it don't matter. So just somebody who's been playing ball much longer than I have, I'm excited to go up against the experience. Mazi, you, you played in an outstanding college there at Michigan, well-coached program, had great success. What, the transition, though, from that to the NFL with your technique, is there something that you're saying, okay, Mazi, be quicker with my hands or be better with my feet or – is there things that you're kind of working through right now? You seem very focused on some things when we're watching you out there play. Uh, everything. Just uh, the speed of the game. You know, when people talk about the speed of the game, they just talk about the speed that you got to execute your fundamentals. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they tell you the game is slowing down, it's like, okay, you can get off the ball quicker. You know, more naturally without thinking about it. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, like I see a guy like Nev or a guy like Osa, and I see how they get off the ball. And I'm like, yeah, I ain't did that yet. <laughs> so, I, I got work to do. How to, yeah. how to catch up. How's your relationship like with a guy like Osa? I saw you guys talking out there today. I was most excited because I think you can really benefit his game and open mm -hmm. some stuff up for him. Yeah, I mean, that's big bro. You know, we all here to row the boat. Yeah, that's all it is. Man, if I was in your shoes, I'd be really excited that I didn't have to go up against Zach Martin the first few days of camp, but I don't imagine that's the way you view it. No, that's that soft. That's some soft. You know what I'm saying? I ain't that guy. You know, that's a, that's probably the number one person I need to go up against mm -hmm. to be the player I want to be. So. I love that. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's my that is, here with That's you. huge. In the I want to go nation. against Zach Martin. Another thing, you know, we're wondering about is how's those pass, pass rush moves coming along? Uh, Practice. Yeah, it's all about reps. It's all about reps. You know, people... You know, people can't tell you how to pass rush one time and, and all of a sudden you become, you know what I'm saying? You got to just come in. That's what training camp is for. You got 30 days to put that work in, 30 days to uh, to better yourself, 30 days to put all the work in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. 11. The best got 11 hours. The rookies got 12. You know, if you want to put in extra, make it 13, 14. You know, it's all about what you're willing to put in. All right, so Mozzie, we just had a uh, former Texas Rangers pitcher Derek Holland sit down with us. He's also a Michigan Wolverine. I'm going to go ahead and end you know, it I saw right this there. Going around on social but media. I love that. Instead of saying, nah, I don't want to go against Zach Martin, I want to be the best, so I need to go against the best. As they say, uh, iron sharpens iron. Yeah. This guy is going to be a difference maker. Now, I'm not going to be a Philly 500 and say, oh, my God, he's going to be Reggie White or anything like that. We're going to have to wait and see how he gets on the field. But attitude-wise, I love it. Now, he does have sleep apnea. Didn't know that about him. And he says he sounds literally like Dark Vader sleeping. <sighs>
but definitely a lovable guy. I hope for big things from Mozzie Smith. Can't wait to see the moves that he gets taught from Dan Quinn, because you know Dan Quinn, a lot of people don't realize this, but Dan Quinn, as small as he is, he's about my age. And back in the day, we weren't quite as big playing football. He played nose guard as well, same position I did. So he understands. He understands the struggle that is being a nose guard. Excuse me, nose tackle now. Listen, it'll always be a nose guard to me. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and um, let's give a little something for my my Eagle fans that I haven't seen too often lately. Fuck them birds. Fly, Eagles, fly. Now we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again.